what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of games on camera um i know it's been a long time i've been in the trenches <laughs> now um i've actually been really busy i've been like working um i've been struggling just like making videos and putting stuff together in in a way that i think is like really good and high quality in order to put out and um yeah that's pretty much like what my video is about which is basically just like managing to balance um, life with fitness, right? And life is a lot of different things. Life is like, um, like for me, um, blogging and like working and school and then doing fitness as well and trying to stay on top of that. So that's what this video is about. And also within this video, I'm doing a killer chest and shoulder session that I wanna show you guys. Um, but yeah, like, so let's get to it. My first point is actually for people like me that make YouTube videos, like for for vloggers or bloggers or whatever you want to call them. Um, which is basically like figuring out a way to create content with a busy schedule. Like, how do you do both, right? Um, this brings me back to something that I know a lot of you people know this. Um, Gary V, right? He's a motivational speaker. And he says something which is basically don't doc, don't create document, right? Or is it like document, don't create? Um, which is basically to say that keep your camera on, like record what you're doing, right? Especially like if you're recording like your fitness journey or if your YouTube is about your fitness journey or just different stuff. If your YouTube is about like what you eat, you eat every day. So just record what you eat every day, like record yourself making it. So um, I think I'm, I'm learning to find the value in that. I'm learning to do that more fluidly, you know, like I'm learning to actually execute that, just documenting what it is I do. Today I had a, I had the tripod like, and my camera. Um, it's an iPhone camera, by the way. It's not like a fancy Canon or like a, <laughs> or like a Sony or anything. Um, I had that in the gym with me today and I basically just recorded what I was doing. I recorded all like the sets I was doing, the different exercises I was doing. And it's easier than you think, right? Like it's easier than I thought. I just need to record it, put it together and put it out there and then say something, make it look pretty, you know? But <laughs> yeah, so um, essentially that's, that's, that's a word of advice for me is just like, just film everything and whatever it is, like whatever it is that you wanna put out there, it's gonna find itself within all that footage that you're recording. So yeah. Now let's get back to why y'all are actually here, right? Which is uh, fitness. So how do you balance keeping fit with a busy schedule? My first piece of advice is wake up early, bro. <laughs> and I know a lot of people say that and it's different for different people with different schedules. Some people work night shifts and all that stuff. But I find value in utilizing a time when I know very few of the people that I interact with are actually like awake. There's very few to li like, there's little to no distractions when you wake up at like 5.30 in the morning, you go to the gym at 6 a.m. There's no people like to talk to in the gym. There's no um, people to text to delay you going to the gym, to delay you like actually working out in the gym. So like the morning, like really early in the morning is actually a very efficient time to put some work in. Plus, I've noticed that it's better for me throughout the day when I wake up, when, when I wake up early and work out in the morning. Um, my energy levels are like pretty high. I feel good. Um, and that's just like, goes back to the psychology thing, which is like, you feel good about yourself when you work out. Um, Y'all know this, but yeah. So I think waking up in the morning and actually like working out in the morning when very few people are up is actually a very effective strategy if you're having trouble finding time to actually put in work plus most of our schedules are throughout the day right like after 8 a.m you have to go to work you have to eat you have to see this person see that person like your appointments are there you have to study just different stuff like that i hate when um i'm going to the gym at like 6 p.m and I'm just exhausted from the work I've been doing like earlier. And even just studying, right? Studying mentally exhausts you. So yeah, it's definitely more ideal to wake up in the morning and uh, work out. If you're not a morning person, um, somebody gave me some advice, which is immediately you wake up, take a little bit of pre-workout. Like 
it doesn't have to be like an actual pre-workout. You could take like any sorts of caffeine, but immediately you wake up, like take that caffeine when your alarm goes off, especially people that find it hard to get out of bed. So it just works better when you just like take that shot of caffeine and you know, you get up, it's gonna motivate you to like actually get going and you know, put that work in, in the gym. All right, so my next point is essentially about time, right? So a lot of people find it really hard to find time to work out and most excuses are like there's no time during the day for me to work out really there actually is if you think about how you actually utilize your time throughout the day i'm not going to give you like a lecture about like what you're doing wrong with your time i just think finding that hour during your day to spend at the gym isn't that difficult like even in the morning if you spend just an hour at the gym you go there at 6 a.m like and you're done by 7 a.m you're literally awake at 7 a.m., which is earlier than most people. But yeah, depending on what it is that you're doing, right? If you're doing a lot of cardio, or if you do cardio in general, even 30 minutes, 30 minutes of hit, like high intensity interval training, is actually a really good workout. If you're weightlifting, do 40 minutes. 40 minutes, if you're, if you're doing it in the morning with no distractions, or whenever you're doing it with no distractions, 40 minutes is enough to get a good session in and, you know, like actually get a good pump in. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd recommend just spending an hour at the gym. You get there, you work out, you leave. It's just an hour of your day. You're also just better off when you work out, right? You're in a healthier mood. Um, you're motivated to do things. You feel good about yourself. You feel confident. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't care what it is that you're doing. That like applies in so many different like aspects of your life. Like whether it's your job or, you know, studying socializing, different things like that. Like, I think working out benefits you not only physically, like mentally as well. So I think that minimum 30 minutes to however long you spend in the gym, overall could end up being like the best use of your time that day. If you have a very busy schedule, you might wanna do stuff that's gonna make it more convenient to stay fit or to keep up with your goals, especially like weightlifters and people that are bodybuilding, people that are like trying to gain mass you you're trying to get in more calories in a day but you just can't find the time to do that i know a lot of people i myself sometimes will skip meals um and feel bad about it just like feel absolutely shitty about it later one of the things that is very helpful is actually planning in advance meal prep because if you meal prep you don't have to worry about it for however many days it just it just makes it way more convenient and you can find time, whether it's on Sundays, on your off time, maybe three hours dedicated to just like meal prepping and you don't have to worry about it. Then you could actually take your meals uh, more conveniently without having to like, you know, stand here for two hours every day and try to whip up something that matches like your calories for the day. And that's another thing, which is like when you meal prep, it makes it more efficient to actually plan out the calories that you're gonna be taking throughout the week. So yeah, you can't go wrong with meal prepping if you wanna actually balance fitness and a hectic schedule. But yeah, even with meal prep, it could be difficult to get all your calories in. How many of you have prepared <laughs> um, chicken breast and rice and by the third meal, you just wanna throw up because it's, at that point, it's just your body feels like it can't take in anymore. Um, I mean, I know like for me personally, I can't eat more than four meals, like four meals in a day without feeling like my stomach's about to explode. So my next piece of advice is take supplements. Take um, a protein shake, BCAs, whatever it is, like whatever supplements you feel like you need dedicated to like your specific goals. It's definitely gonna be worth it because it's gonna be make it more convenient to get in those calories, to get in that protein, um, to get in those carbs. And that's gonna save you way more time than, you know, like eating six meals or five meals or whatever crazy stuff you guys are doing. So yeah, um, I definitely recommend taking supplements. Um, I'll tell you what supplements to take, but that's for a different video. Thank you so much for watching though. Um, everybody that's been watching me and is still watching me right now, really appreciate it. Um, appreciate your patience as well. Please like, please share and subscribe. Um, yeah, until the next video, you've been watching Games on Camera.
Thank you.